Well, to give myself a break from the Cafe Racer project today, I've decided to have a look in the TT. Um, some of the previous old videos I put up was me trying to get the new um, a cylinder head in. The old cam belt broke, um, the obviously piston valve contact, the horrible story. A garage I took the cylinder head to lost it. How? I don't know. Um, so then I had to buy a new one from eBay again. And put that in, when I put everything in, the engine didn't start. Um, oh sorry, it started, but then it didn't rev. So I sort of gave up. Um, see, it's, it's not my main car, it's, it's an old car of mine. I'm just reluctant to send it to the scrap paper, basically. Um, so I've got a Bagcom cable today, and I'm seeing how it works. Uh, and this is it, so I'll give a bit of an introduction of how to use them. You need to put the software on, you need to put the drivers on so that the USB cable can actually be read. Um, and so here it is. We've got the bag come in there, pulls the cable, only works on PC, which I hate. Um, that's in the USB port. So this is, yeah, this is where we are. The engine, yeah, doesn't rev. Um, so you, first of all, you need to set it up. You go to options, you've got your ports there. You need to test it first. So this is VCDS light. Um, there's four ports here, COM1 to four. Uh, test all of them. I found out that COM4 seems to work for me, so it says Port state is okay, interface found, and latency is good. So you need to make sure that the latency is good always. Um, okay that. Save your details, and that's done. That's now figured out what needs doing. Uh, after that I need to set the serial number on here. So if you go back and just do a quick select and do click, actually let's yeah, let's click engine. You can see it's coming up with all these statuses. Uh, and then it'll activate these little buttons down here once it's found out the signal. And then after that it'll put your uh, serial number in. No response, that's brilliant. Okay. Uh, instruments. Come on. No, oh, don't show me up now. Oh yeah. Make sure the ignition's on. Always helps. Right, you can see this is coming up with all sorts of errors. Water, the engine water, everything. Um, so okay, let's go back to engine. There we go. So you can see the wagon is coming up now. Um, everything's making a noise in here and these are now active. So it means that everything's ready. So let's go back to that and let's do a quick auto scan. Choose your car. It's an Audi TT and start. Now I've only got VCDS light. It's, it's a demo. Um, so it's not going to show all the codes. Just let it do its thing. So while that's doing it, I'm just determined to get this car back on. I'm one of these people that hates to give up or if someone tells me I can't do something, I'll try my bloody best to do it. So that's my challenge with this car. I really don't want to get rid of it. Okay. So it's come up with these now. Sorry, this function requires to be registered. Uh, we know that. But here, uh, everything that I've got wrong, we've got a lot of codes, shareware version. So you have to obviously register, register it to see what's happened, but I can see that the secondary air injection system incorrect flow detected and also the other one which I'm worried about, actually two things I'm worried about, knock sensor up there 
uh, that's under the um, air intake and because it's a variable timing engine it can retard the engine um, depending on what so that's wrong we've also got a throttle actuator mechanical failure so yeah it's no wonder that my car wasn't revving so that's it I know now what needs to be sorted quite a few things <laughs> so that's yeah that's gonna be another day's work <laughs>